David Wilkerson once told me I had a pride problem. I believe him. But you know what? You have a pride problem. We'll we all have a pride problem. And nobody is exempt from this. Can you imagine even Paul and Barnabas were arguing about who was going to decide whether John Mark could go or not on the second Shalikas journey. So even somebody as great as Paul, in fact, Paul said that he was given a thorn in the flesh to deal with his pride problem, that uh, because he had seen such fantastic things, things that no mortal had ever seen before in the third heaven and all this, uh, the the Lord allowed uh, a, a, an angel of, of the of the devil basically to to stick him with a thorn. We're talking about some kind of physical infirmity. He had a problem of some some kind, and uh, it kept him humble. Uh, you know, when you have a handicap sticker on your windshield, it's a little bit humbling. When you have to go into the house of the Lord in a wheelchair, it's a little bit humbling. And you know what? We need to humble ourselves mm -hmm. under the mighty hand of God so that He will exalt us. Amen? Praise God. So I really want to look at this, uh, this book. And, uh, you know, uh, I want to especially look at uh, the, the uh, beautiful hymn that is in there where he talks about how even though uh, uh, the Messiah was, was uh, in the form of God, he emptied himself. He could have been proud, but he wasn't. He was humble. There was a proud spirit from heaven named uh, Lucifer. But this was not our Lord. And I want you to look at this. Uh, he says, have this mind among you. Uh, chapter 2, verse 5. Have this mind among you. Let this mind be in you which was also in Messiah Yeshua, who being in the form of Elohim, did not consider it robbery to be equal with Elohim, but made himself of no reputation, taking the form of a bondservant, and coming in the likeness of men, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself, and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the etz of the tree. Now, uh, if, if, if we are self-promoting and conceited, we have to remember that he was demoted. He, he was demoted. He demoted himself. He did not promote himself. He demoted himself. And so if you're a self-promoting preacher, and you're always bragging about the visions and dreams you've had and all the great things you've done and seen, you need to remember that Moshiach took a demotion. Can you say amen? amen. He took a demotion and uh, he humbled himself. And, and that's what we have to do. We have to humble ourselves. And, and we have to take the form of a servant. Now to go to a Kehilah, K-E-H-I-L-A-H, a, 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 an assembly and humble yourself and take the lowest seat and submit to the sound doctrine and the teaching of the brethren takes humility doesn't it uh, but uh, there were two ladies there uh, uh, Yodica, Yodica and Syntyche and they, they weren't able to really submit. They had a pride problem. There was a spirit of pride operating in these two ladies. And Paul reminds them, look, you are my fellow workers. You've got to agree in the Lord. And he, 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 he cries out to this one uh, brother in the congregation to help these women to agree in the Lord, to get along. And not to cause a division in the Lord. And then he tells them, look, I am going to die al Kiddush Hashem. Uh, well, he says, to me to live is Mashiach and to die is gain. And if I have to give up my life, uh, then uh, that's, that's a, a, a sweet offering to the Lord. He speaks like a Kohen. He uses all this uh, language of the Mizbeach in the Beis HaMikdash. A sweet smelling savor. They send an offering. That's what he calls it. Then he says, if I have to pour out my life as a sacrifice on the uh, offering of your faith, uh, your emunah, 
I do it gladly. Uh, so the thing is, he uses this sacrificial language because, friend, we must decrease. He must increase. We must learn how to be humble servants and serve the Lord. The, the word for servant is uh, like a table waiter. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, we have a lady here who was a waiter of tables. And one of the people sitting at one of the tables was a man named Ribby Schneerson. At that time, uh, nobody thought he was the Mashiach. And the false doctrine and the error had not spread. But you see, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. When you let a little bit of pride in, how many know that a little bit of pride can get very deadly, can get very, many people can be, can suffer as a result right. of just one proud person because it's infectious. After a while, everybody has a haughty spirit and everybody's looking down their nose at everybody else. And you got to remember that loveless preachers and loveless uh, rivalrous co-workers in the Kehilah uh, create a problem and that's why he's praying when you read this epistle he's praying that their love would abound more and more look at uh, chapter 1 verse 9 and that they would be pure and blameless listen friend we have to stand before the Lord the Lord is at the door if I'm haughty and proud I'm going to have to answer for that what he wants is he wants me and all of you to to be pure and blameless before the Lord when he comes uh, that every knee will bow every tongue will confess the Moshiach but we all have to stand before his 